Now everybody, in today's video, it is time once again to talk about my new Honda. And of course, I'm, I'm talking about the plane, the, the Honda Jet, yes. Everybody, I know, this is my second video on this plane within like two days, right? See, two days ago, I posted a review about this add-on plane you can buy now for the flight simulator for $25. And in today's video, I'm already following up with a very important and shameful part to everybody. Now, let me just say, in that one review I made about this plane, I've had some major issues flying it. Like, don't get me wrong, everything here looked absolutely fine. Everything worked absolutely fine, like the touchscreen, the controls. Like, I mean, look at this beautiful synthetic vision. I mean, you don't even need the windshield anymore. All right, anyway, like that was absolutely fine, but I've had some major issues flying this plane. Right, just take off right here from this beautiful Greek island. Here we go, looking good, but once you reach like 60 knots of speed or something like that, the plane really starts to do some weird things and even tip over. Flaps 50% and... Okay, honestly, what, what, <laughs> what the hell happened here? Okay, um... Right, let's try this again. Oh god. Is this normal? Why can't this plane take off? I've, I've, I'm not, I'm not doing anything wrong. No, no, why is it doing that? Why, why? Help! I I didn't expect that. What the what the hell? Go, it's gonna release it. Oh my god! <laughs> Lol. All right, this is clearly broken. I've not been able to get this into the air properly. But everybody, as you can see right here, it is fixed now. <laughs> yes, everybody, we can finally fly the Honda Jet again. Something I couldn't do in, in that one review I made. Now the reason why the plane wouldn't want to take off properly was uh, me who set the flight model to legacy instead of modern. I don't know what the difference is, and this is actually the first add-on plane I've had issues with this flight model with, right? But you have to set the flight model to modern. That is something that's very important in order for this plane to properly fly, and it does now. But it works. It's not even broken anymore. It is absolutely absolutely fine and well what can I say it flies like a dream I know I know the plane is still ugly but that's just what the real Honda jet looks like I'm still not quite sure about about this um engine over wing design but you know what well, maybe it's even starting to grow on me if I think about it this is, this is absolutely fine yes I've managed to make this plane fly this is why this video here is so shameful right because I I'm the one who messed up in my defense, though, you can only buy the Honda Jet from the built-in marketplace here on the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, it's, uh, it's right here, in, indeed. But again, it costs 25 euros, which I think is actually a pretty justified price. That's actually, actually very fair of a deal. But that also means that you don't really have a community folder where you have any documents. I haven't really been able to find, like, any manual for this plane where it would say, oh no, don't use the legacy flight mode, otherwise you will crash and die. So that is my defense right here. I mean, I know I'm a bad reviewer. I never said that I was a good reviewer. But from a consumer standpoint, right, anyone who wouldn't have turned on the legacy mode apparently would have had issues, but wouldn't have known how to fix it properly at first glance, right? So yes, I would very much like to apologize to the developers of this very nicely done jet. I mean, I cannot even, like, look, look at how nice the leather looks, by the way. Yeah, I can't even imagine how much work developing a plane like this is. I mean, right, I'm, I'm just really blown away by the redesigned uh, synthetic vision. That looks awesome. And for me to kind of mess up the reputation of this plane, and probably the reputation of me as a reviewer, because I didn't really put in a lot of work into fixing this, I'm very sorry about this. Anyway, enough of justifying being stupid here as a reviewer. It is finally time now to do some flight testing with this plane and especially some landing testing. As you can see, we are spawned into an approach of Courchevel Airport. And this should be rather interesting indeed. Now, how do you stop a Honda jet on a runway? Well, you have, of course, the wheel brakes, but that is kind of it. For example, you have, of course, you, of course, don't have any reverse thrust on these engines. None of these small private jets have reverse thrust. Like, these are just way too small, these engines here, to have anything. But something you do have is a little bit of a speed brake here, indeed, an air brake. And it comes out, as you can see here, on the tail side. That is very interesting indeed. I've only ever seen that before on the Avro plane. 
which is another airplane that doesn't have reverse thrust but still can land on short runways. Let's maybe see how well the Honda performs at Courchevel Airport. I don't know, this is just a random flight test. All right. Oh, so by the way, I get rid of this right here. You have to press this soft key, which I think is really realistic. L look, look at the map, though. Like, I've got, I, uh, you know, I feel very ashamed because this is actually a very nice add-on plane, and I kind of messed this all up. Mm-hmm, looking good now. And I do wonder, at what speeds do you land this plane? Like, what's the stall speed? Like, I guess like 110 knots or something like that. All right, it's coming for a bit of a landing. Okay, looking good. Just make sure to put it down a bit smoothly right here. Let's not torture the landing gear. Well, well. Okay, that's been a bit late. Let me try to stop. Come on, you can do it, plane. Air brake! Give it all you got! Oh, Jesus Christ. Absolutely fine, as you can tell. Looking very good. Now, yes, is it a good idea to make the first landing on board a brand new plane at Cochevel Airport without knowing how it really flies? No, it's not. That's actually been... Oh. The replay mode is a, bit, is a bit laggy, right? But there we go. Um, Didn't go too well. Okay. Riding the storm walls. Well, wow, looking good. All right. So we try, uh, try St. Bartholomew Airport here in the Caribbean. See, this is like a 600 meter long runway now. So we try to do a bit of a takeoff right here. Full power. Raise the parking brake. Flaps 15 degrees. Things are looking okay, I think. I mean, after all, this is a rather small jet. I think this might just work, right? Come on power now uh, oh my god that was very close to being very much dead but there we go oh no okay that's been very much close once again okay please get above this mountain oh that's been a very much near death experience very good i like to see that as professional flying swiss is there one yeah i can tell even the second review of this plane isn't very good but this is i mean <laughs> Good. So what I like about this add-on here as well is the sounds. Right there, I've done this pretty nicely, especially in the cockpit. This plane sounds absolutely nice. Got this stupid soft key menu. Look, look at the map right here. I think this has been custom made as well, right? Because you have these airways included in the map. I've never seen that before in the regular flight simulator. Mm -hmm. A bit of a hard landing. You got him. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, shut up! Everything's fine. All right, it's coming for a bit of a stop. I think that should work quite well. Yeah, but you can definitely tell this plane is not the quickest of stopping plane. That's not being grammatically correct, but there we go. We've stopped though. St. Bartholomew, which is plenty. Let's try to check this out. I like how in this video, I have not done a nice landing. Like, it's, it's always been throwing it on the ground. Looking very good though. Stop. As well. Now here at this airport, let's perform once again a little bit of a startup procedure. This is very realistic. We have these static elements added in as well. Let's just turn on the batteries right here. This is a very simplistic, modern plane, very safe. Garmin. I'm going to Garmin. Now this plane is extremely simple as well to start up for sure. We can just press these startup knobs right here. That's all you have to do pretty much at all. Okay, again, we can already see some N2 and one compression, right? Literally two buttons you have to press in order to turn this plane on, the battery and the, the starter knobs. You know, people have been really comparing this plane to the Cirrus jet, another very easy plane of, you know, before even claimed that that's a plane that anyone could fly. Anyway, things are looking good. Let's go ahead and close these doors right here. Things are looking fine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the sunglasses here. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Generators are already turned on. <laughs> I mean, this is really nice. This is pretty what people love about the real Honda jet as well. There's not much time to be wasted on the ground waiting for some weird alignments or anything. Startup basically within one minute is totally possible if you need to. Time efficient and safe, that's what we all want to see. Now, I'm taking off without flaps. That's not a very wise idea. But it's looking absolutely fine anyway. I think we're able to take off properly. Come on. Yeah. So, yeah guys $25 for this plane definitely okay if you want to fly a small private jet like this one in the flight simulator around the world then I can definitely recommend this to you now thank you very much for watching today's video and giving me another chance and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always good night